Optus and Vodafone 3 look to have embarrassed Telstra in the race to attract Apple fans to the midnight launch of the iPhone 4 in Sydney. Optus claimed that over 500 people turned up to its George Street Sydney store, buoyed by promises that they could break their existing iPhone 3GS contracts to start anew with Apple's latest smartphone. Celebrity chefs at the Telstra store proved no match for this offer, even after the telco announced some generous last-minute changes to the data allowance in its iPhone plans. Crowds at Telstra were noticeably thinner, but less hungry. The 300 or so lined up for the George Street 3 store were able to shelter from the cold in the Wynyard Rail Tunnel. Well, what's, what's, what's the appeal of the Apple brand? It's more like an appreciation of Steve Jobs' mind. <laughs> wow, you'd be pretty stoked with that. Um, and um, why did you line up at Optus rather than Telstra or, uh, or, or 3? Because I already have a plan with Optus, so, and they offered me to break contracts, so for, they're waiving the fee, so I thought I may as well upgrade. That might be the reason there's a lot more people here. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Mate, Optus is awesome, man. Free massages, macas, coffee, lollies, lollipops, lollipops, lollies right. scarves, beanies. I'm currently with Optus, so uh, I thought I'd stick with them and then actually offer better for value plans, actually. The madness continued into the morning at the George Street Apple store, where at 2 p.m. today there was still around 500 in the queue. Have you been here how long? Um, same, five, since 5 o'clock this morning. We were, go we were going to do the midnight run. Um, but there was like 200 people at Optus and we heard that there was only like 150 phones. You've been waiting in line since? Um, probably about 10. Last night? Yeah. Did that get really cold overnight? It did actually, but um, my sister's with me. We've just been playing some tunes and like keeping ourselves busy, so yeah. You certain you're going to get a phone? Has anyone from Apple told you there's definitely enough phones for you? Well, as far as I'm concerned, there's about 12,000. 12,600 iPhones being shipped here. Now, seeing the line and knowing that all the other carriers are providing the phones to the contractors, um, I don't know, it's 50-50. <laughs> are you worried that you may not get a phone? No, we're 138, is it, back in line? And they're probably going to have thousands. You know that, uh, I think it was Optus only had 120 phones last night. Yeah, but Apple are going to have way more, way more. So uh, have you chosen which phone you're going to get? Yeah, 16. And why the 16 gig? Because there's no way I fill up 16 as it is on my current one. And I don't think most people do. They just think, oh yeah, bigger the better. But <laughs> So you currently have an iPhone? Yeah, yeah, 3GS. Yep. And is that on contract? Are you going to break contract to get the new one? No, it's, it's an O2 phone from the UK that's unlocked because they unlocked him, so no, I'm not a contract man, it's crazy. You think it'd be worth the money? But the case, you know, it's a trend, so everything is for trend. So nothing is, money is nothing.